All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. It's Tuesday. We continue with that soupy air across the valley and well, that lowest layer of the atmosphere trapping in pollutants from uh, things like our fireplaces and our vehicles, exhaust and our pl power plants and the like, trapping it near the surface, lowering air quality. That's a problem. This will all be swept out by the weather maker that's moving through and into the area as we speak. As you look at the time lapse here over the last uh, hour and a half or so, here is a look then at uh, what we do have going on Wednesday. First alert weather day overnight is when things are getting started. And in fact, they're taking place right now down to the south with a mixed band of light precipitation happening. The pink there indicating we could get some areas of freezing rain and freezing drizzle. And with temperatures at the surface here of the 20s, it's warmer air above the ground like we talked about last night on the show that melts those snowflakes uh, into water. And then as the well snowflakes melt into water, they fall down to the ground. They freeze when they impact the surface. So that could create slippery travel conditions both overnight and into your drive time tomorrow. Temperatures will stay mild through the overnight hours. We're talking near 15 to 25 for most of us. And by daybreak, we're expecting that band of snow and mixed precipitation to cross over not only the I-29 corridor in southeast North Dakota, but the I-94 corridor between Fargo and Minneapolis. Snow showers also from that northern band of flakiness will continue across northwest Minnesota and the northern valley at daybreak. So watch for slippery conditions. Not all of us will get impacted by this system. As we go through the afternoon, here's how many of us will. Notice the wind? It's from the north, from Canada. Drier air pushing in underneath this air that we have is going to sweep away all of this smog that we have in the area. Snow showers will exit midday and on through parts of the arrowhead of Minnesota. How much snow? Not a lot, folks. It'll be a trace to around an inch anywhere you see these light blue colors. A couple of us could get a little bit more than that, but we're also concerned that we could get some spotty ice with this system as it works its way through, particularly from, say, Sisseton and Watertown in through Lakes Country. So please be cautious. Give yourself extra time. That air quality alert continues through Wednesday at 6 o'clock. It has been extended. That's when the winds really should sweep out this smog. Speaking of the smog, 113, that air quality index in Fargo, that means there's enough particulates in the atmosphere to be unhealthy for some. Likewise, unhealthy for some in Grand Forks. All right, let's talk about what we have going on right now, shall we? Visibility is down to a quarter of a mile out in Wapaton Breckenridge, a mile at times here in the FM area over the last hour or two. And that visibility is reduced from the valley and points east. Now the satellite and radar showing the main event is making its way through South Dakota's capital pier getting snow out ahead of it in the warmer soupier air. We have areas of freezing drizzle and sleet and freezing rain to contend with on I-29. So Southern Valley system little hiccup near the international border will bring your snow by morning up in the northern valley. Temperatures 15 to 25 right now and by tomorrow we can expect to be in that same range. If Fargo gets anything precipitation wise, it will be pre dawn. So watch for slippery roads to start the day. Still soupy, but northwest winds gusting over 25 miles per hour in the afternoon will sweep away this smoggy foggy nonsense. Beautiful photo here. Thanks, Sue, for sharing your frosty forest. This is in West Fargo, and indeed, we've seen so many beautiful shots like that. After our weather hiccup makes its way through, it will be colder to close out the work week with breezy conditions. The weekend shows improvement temperature-wise, a fair amount of clouds once again. I think we could have some foggy concerns once again as we go into next week. We'll keep you advised as far as air quality goes as we head into your Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on Monday. Oh, no. More. Yes. <laughs> for once, you're rooting for wind, though, in winter. We need yeah. to get this yes, out. Yes, exactly. Right. It'd be nice.